Florence McGillery was born in Whitby, the youngest daughter of 13 siblings. Inspired by the landscape across southern Ontario, she painted in both watercolour and oil. Dutch and English styles were the most dominant at the time in the late 1800s. But there was something new on the horizon. McGillery became aware of Impressionism as it was growing in Europe, and she began to dabble in it. 1912, she went to, uh, on an artistic self-discovery to Europe, where she found Impressionism, for sure, and also Modernism. And then she does each style separately, and then after her tour in Europe and when she comes back to Canada, she just picks a style that she likes. McGilvery's return from Europe wasn't the first time the family had made that voyage. In 1835, her family and the Thompson family, ancestors of group of seven painter Tom Thompson, both emigrated from Scotland. They maintained a familial and social interaction over the years. So much so that Tom kept an invitation to one of McGilvery's tea art shows in 1912, which were gatherings at the family home where people could purchase smaller works. Then, upon returning to Canada in 1914, from her artistic exploration, she completes a series of paintings of the pine grove beside the family home, one of which she shows at a Toronto exhibition the same year. This is also Thompson's first show, according to Allen. And I think she plants the seed of modernism in Tom's mind and leads to, and these paintings that she does lead to his West Wind and North Klein. And when you see them together, you can see the, 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 the similarities in the pieces. Alan says that in her time, the Gilbury received some recognition and was considered one of the best watercolorists in Canada. However, most female artists of the time were not as fortunate. This is a woman that has uh, the same creative ability as Emily Carr or, you know, some of the greats. And, of course, all the women of that era, which, you know, they did pursue painting, but they were held back. They were so good at what they did, but they weren't given that time. They weren't given um, the opportunities that male artists were at the time, so that didn't allow them to do what male artists could do. Which is part of the reason for this show at the Helsin Gallery. It's bringing McGilvery's work back to the public eye, and on April 11th, Alan will be speaking about his research to provide context to the paintings, something Bruce believes enhances the viewing experience. Let's say it was um, an Impressionist piece, and that was what was happening in Canada. Like, Impressionism was coming over. So even the story of that enhances, like, what was happening during that time. And it, you can relate to the piece more, and you can also see how it changed throughout Florence's life. The exhibition will be open until May 6th. Jason Trout for Halton News in Halton Hills.